creating a timeless piece is um, yeah, it's almost creating a masterpiece. My name is Bertrand Le Joli. I'm a Belgian designer living and working in Antwerp. It's a little capital of design. Uh, it's where the fashion is and there's a lot of creativity which is very inspiring for me, uh, for my office and for my work. I grew up at the Belgian border, so I had the chance to grow up actually in German and French. And after I went to Italy and then came back to Belgium and Antwerp. And this contrast between the North European pragmatism and the Italian uh, South European uh, passion, it's something which is merged somehow in me together. And, um, and it's also something which expresses itself in the designs I do. If you achieve to create an object where you, you get these two contrasting parts together, then, then you achieve a perfect object. I remember when I was a child, my grandmother, she had a, a bathroom which was really cold, sterile and uninviting actually. And then in the 80s and 90s you, you felt this shift to something which became much more livable and which became much more inviting and, and, and personal actually. So uh, you, this shift from cold, uninviting to warm and the living mood in the bathroom, this was a major shift um, in, the, in, the, in the sanitary world. The bathroom is all about expressing yourself and therefore you need a warm, welcoming atmosphere in the bathroom. You have to calm down after a heavy work day and in the opposite it's also refreshing uh, starting the day. So you, you need to combine these two atmospheres in the bathroom and, and this was something we, we, uh, we wanted to achieve with Dineo. Dineo is a pleaser. Actually, it's somebody who wants to stay. He's, he's there, he wants to stay, he wants to stay with you. It's like a lifelong partner. It's a partner who, who lives with you and who still gives you room as a person um, to express yourself and to be, to be yourself. He's there, he's modest, he's a, like a platform where you can fulfill your own desires, your own personality and your own character. My favorite piece in the collection is, um, is the, the wash basin because the wash basin is, um, is the central element in the, in, the, in the bathroom. It was also the starting point of the creative design process and the subtle discrete rim around it is somehow the starting point of the whole collection. It's not necessarily a must to create a family link between the objects in one collection. I think these times are, are quite over. It's about creating the right design and the right expression for, for every object. And then somehow it comes together. Somehow there's a complete expression. Durovit came up with a quite challenging briefing. The collection had to be timeless, it had to be universal, it had to be not, not too polarizing, smart and clever. For a broad target group, it's the most difficult briefing you can have. It's, um, it's the most challenging one, because creating a timeless piece is almost creating a masterpiece. In this quest to, to find the right uh, design for the project, there's always this moment where you feel, okay, that's it. That's the moment where you feel mm, all these doubts are gone slowly and, and now you feel a kind of self-confident uh, ID which is there, which stands there and which is ready to, to be shown to the client. I like to show one concept, one idea. It has to be one message, one, one direction. And then starts the discussion between the client and the different departments, marketing, research and development, the engineers. And there you have a kind of back and forth communication, like a ping pong between all the departments. That's the moment where the project is coming to life. Without this discussion and without this, this exchange and without this good collaboration, uh, you don't achieve anything as a designer. So uh, you need them, they need you. So uh, that's, uh, that's the perfect symbiosis. Yeah? The most important moment is the moment when uh, it gets launched uh, and it gets out in the world. Um, it's a very strong moment because after putting so much energy, so much um, on your, of your own and so much um, 
of your personality at the end. Um, it's, it's the moment where you, you, you just let it go.